is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another wwe action figure playset review for you guys and it is on the brand new wwe elimination chamber action figure playset that is absolutely massive look at this box it almost fills up my entire arena it really does when you look at it from the as soon as you come down the ramp there's the box it goes all the way across to the announce table and it's a lot bigger in person than it looks like on camera i had to stand up my tripod uh, tripod move it back and just to capture this thing, I mean, this matchup took place two years ago, and we're finally getting an updated Elimination Chamber. I know it's not elite, but I think that if you guys watch the review, maybe you'll change your mind. We're going to take an in-depth, true re review of this thing, and maybe at the end of it, you'll want to pick it up, and we're going we're gonna to break down all the pros, all the cons, and you know what? It's, it's going to be great, man. We're going to open this packaging up, take out the Elimination Chamber, build it up, review it, put some elites in here, and see if it will be worth the pickup for you guys. I think this thing comes in at around $100 on Ringside Collectibles, and if you use promo code NBTOYS, I think you'll save some money, and it may be worth that price point compared to the Jax Elimination Chamber play set that runs for like $400 nowadays. So will this thing be worth it? Who knows, guys? We're going to crack it out of the packaging. Take a look at this Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite favorite stipulation matches, so I'm super excited to see what this thing looks like in action figure form and see how it looks here in the MDT arena. With MDT Hell's Gate coming up, guys, I am super excited. Again, you know, we have two Elimination Chamber matches coming soon to MDT, and it's going to be epic, and uh, this just makes me even more excited to see it here in the arena with this playset. So let's go ahead, shut the hell up, crack this thing out of the packaging, and find out what this playset is all about. Alright guys, so the first thing that you will notice right out of the packaging is this thing comes with a ton of parts. I'm talking multiple parts. You got the roof, you got the walls, you got the upper walls, you got the chambers, you got the chamber doors, you have the placeholders for the chambers. There is a lot of stuff going on with this play set already and um, you do get some instruction manuals and it kind of breaks down all the parts right here and I, I'm holding it upside down like a stupid jackass but let's go ahead and take a look right here. You guys will see exactly what you get and um, it breaks down everything. Oh, and I cannot forget, you also get included with an AJ Styles basic action figure. And it kind of sucks because everyone I know and their mom really wanted this figure as an elite. And we finally got it in basic form. And not even the old basic articulation. It is the new basic articulation. And the elbow pad doesn't even have the P1 on it. I don't know if his elbow pad that night at Elimination Chamber had the P1 logo on it, but... Nonetheless, the figure is nice. I really do love this attire. Uh, the white AJ Styles Elimination it's Chamber attire was one of my favorites, but you do get included with the AJ Styles Basic. So what I'm going to try to do is go ahead and build this thing while it's on camera. So I'm going to try and do like a time lapse of me building it. Don't know how well that's going to go. It could be an epic failure, but don't forget to uh, get your instruction manual and uh, we're going to go through this and we're going to try and build this thing up and then we're going to review it and talk about exactly how great this place that is for the WWE Elimination Chamber.
And mercifully, ladies and gentlemen, I am finally done with this Elimination Chamber playset, building it, putting it together for you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I literally think it took me 45 minutes to an hour to put this thing together. You know, parts weren't going together smoothly. Um, it's like they were really stiff trying to push them together and stuff. And uh, it, it was difficult at times, I'm not going to lie to you. So if you're a little bit younger and you picked up this playset and you want to build this thing, I would recommend getting your dad or your mom or just an adult, your guardian, to help you with it because it is pretty difficult to put together. I mean, I kind of ignored the instructions at times and I wasn't kind of thinking, probably because it's the middle of the night and I, I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a stupid idiot moron. However, we did get it built and it looks fantastic in the arena. Like, look at this, like zooming out, guys. I mean, it's a little bit, it may be a little bit small, but it's kind of cool that it gives you like you know a little bit of area around the uh, around the uh, around the ring there and it looks good i mean if i was on commentary i probably wouldn't be able to see jack crap through the cage however it's it's still really nice and it, it looks pretty good it's real tall it's it's massive like here is a comparison between the stage and the chamber you guys can kind of see what we got going on here but um the only thing i have a big issue with is that there's not like an operational door that's like easy it does come apart right here you guys will see you come Kind of, uh, how should I do this? You kind of like just pop it off. Jeez, I, I don't know what the best way to do this is, but you pop it off and it, it, it pops out and then it swings open, but it's kind of difficult to do. You can see there that I tried to do it and it's kind of, uh, it's a little bit difficult to get. It's not just some simple task that you just pop open the door and it comes open. So it is a little bit difficult. This is how you get in the in the top right here. You can just kind of undo these latches right here and then it pops open and then you can get in there, you know, put your figures in there and all of that good-ish. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. I still can't even get the John Brown thing open. So this is the best way to do it. You have this little tab here and you press that down and when that comes apart, then it's easier to come apart. All right, I finally got it. So you guys can kind of see, I mean, it's just not, it's not as user friendly as I would like, but look look how nice this shot is. You can see down in the chamber, you got all these nice things going on. You do have the chambers in the corners. I think this is the first elimination place that ever that actually has space enough for figures to get on top here. And it also may be the first one ever that actually has the, the chambers in the corners facing in like the actual chamber does. And this is not based on the older chamber. This is based on the brand new one that we got a couple years ago. I think it was 2017, right? Before WrestleMania 33 when Bray Wyatt it won the chamber match and it's kind of crazy because if you look on the box it has all the competitors from that match and you will you guys will see that it has Dean Ambrose on there because Dean Ambrose was in that matchup setting up the Trash Corbin versus Dean Ambrose match for WrestleMania 33 in the Intercontinental title and it's funny because now John Moxley is a member of AEW so what is that I guess they were going to release this before they knew that he was splitting I well, I know that they didn't know he was splitting he didn't tell anybody so that is why but Pretty freaking cool, man. I really do enjoy this. This is a really cool feature as well. You have sliding operational doors in the back. So what you would do is if you wanted to insert a, uh, a member into the match, you would, uh, you, I guess you could just place him in through the back here because they don't have a panel to cover up here. However, uh, if you were trying to, say you're inside the match and you want to have him leave, you can stick uh, the figure through here. But that's what I'm talking about. It's really hard to like play with like how do I get in there right how do I get in there you have to take off a full wall just to get inside there so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off a wall and then uh, we will see what it looks like on the inside of the ring from this view all right guys so this is what it looks like when you remove that one wall you guys will see and it was really difficult I tried to leave on the instructions it says that the door is operational and stuff like that but like I tried to like open it and this part right here was really tough to pop off and so I just went ahead and removed the whole wall. But you can see we get up in here and it's really nice in here. I mean, there's not a ton of space as big as it would be with like, you know, a, a main event ring or, or any of those other rings. However, you do get a little bit of more space. There's a lot more space than I thought there would be. And they may have maybe made the basic rings a little bit bigger. I'm not sure, I could be wrong about that. I've never really owned one before, um, besides when I was younger. Um, so I, I can't tell you, but uh, let's go up to the top here. You guys can see what AJ Styles looks like on the top of the chamber. So there is AJ Styles on top of the chamber, and it looks pretty good. I mean, he, there is a gap right here between the roof. So like if you put the roof back on, let me go ahead and grab this and show you guys what I'm talking about. If you put the roof back on, you guys will see there is a gap in the roof of the chamber. Therefore, you can put guys on top of it without them hitting their head.
head and it still gives the illusion. So if you wanted to do action figure photography or anything like that, I still think that you could get away with that. I think that's a really cool feature, taking that portion of the roof out. That way you can get that, that effect with it. And I think that if, if you're a pick fetter, I still think you could run a match out of this. I think you really could. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use it for Hell's Gate. However, I think that if you wanted to use this for an Elimination Chamber, if you can't track down that Jax Elimination pl Chamber playset, I think that this one is a really good alternative, especially for $90 to $100 that it's going for in Ringside Collectibles. Especially if you use promo code MDTOYS and save 10%, you'll even save more money than that. But uh, this is a really strong set, man. I really do like it. Besides, you know, building it, it's a little bit crazy. But uh, I, I really like it, man. I think that here's a, what a figure looks like in the ring. So there's not a ton of space again. However, there's a lot more space than I thought there'd be. I could have sworn that uh, there wasn't as much space. But I know I've seen pick fetters use these basic Elimination Chamber playsets before, and it's worked out. So that's something to think about. Um, if you guys wanted to see what AJ Styles looks like in the chamber, this is what I was talking about. You have the operational door in the back, and what you do is you pull it out and uh, you insert. Again, you could insert from the back if you wanted to, but if they're in the back and you want them to enter the chamber, uh, let's say it goes, it goes wow, 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 then it lands on AJ Styles. The roof caves in, killing everyone in the ring. So AJ Styles is able to come out of the chamber and go pin everyone and win the WWE Championship. All right, guys, so let's run through the pros and cons real quick of this playset. Now, the pros is that it is a really cheap alternative to the Jax Elimination Chamber. That goes for $250 to $500, I'm sure, if you looked around online or anything like that. It looks fantastic. I mean, you guys can see it looks really, really good. You get the you get the nice tall chamber walls, operational chamber doors. It is an elimination chamber. Like, you can run fun matches out of this. The cons would probably be that it's a basic ring and that it's not as big as you would probably like. However, I think with Toys R Us going out of business and things of that nature, I think that, uh, you know, a, a massive elite scale elimination chamber is probably years down the road. I'm not sure how they would do that. Maybe make it ringside exclusive. I don't know. But uh, overall, I really do enjoy it, guys. And I think you should pick it up if you like anything you saw here today. Again, it, it, it's a nice piece. It's really big. You can get some fun use out of it. I think that anybody could use this for action figure matches. Um, they, they fit well inside the ring, inside the area. There's actually a lot more area than you would think with this thing. And you guys can see for yourself that in the arena, it's pretty freaking massive. But that is going to do it for this WWE action figure playset review on the brand new WWE Elimination Chamber playset, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on the Elimination Chamber below. Do you own this? Are you looking forward to picking this up? If you are interested, again, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, pick it up using promo code MDTOYS, as well as other Elite Figure pre-orders and tons and tons of great action figures. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.